All right, ladies, good morning. All right, today is Mother's Day, and on Mother's Day, since we've been living in North Carolina, we've made it a tradition of planting our garden. And today is no different. I finally got all the beds made. It's, this is a start. This is probably not gonna be all the beds. I think this is such a great tradition. Every Mother's Day, we plant seeds. It's the day of supposedly our last frost here in North Carolina, so we typically do garden related things and I'm yeah. so excited to get my plant starts in the ground and some seeds in the ground so this is a great way to spend Mother's Day. We just got a dump of soil. This is compost and soil for our raised beds and this is five yards. I don't think this is going to be enough for all those but we're going to see how far we can take it. The first step of filling these beds is cardboard. Someone got a new knife for Mother's Day. <laughs> Much needed. Plus we just moved. So we have a ton of boxes that we could put in these beds. Another step in filling up those raised garden beds are sticks. This is a good way to use less dirt in your raised beds. And also, we have so many downed trees now. It's a good way to get rid of them and use them up. You can also put leaves. We don't have that many leaves laying around right now. Uh, but if it was a fall time, then yeah, you could probably put leaves in here. Another benefit of having raised beds is flooding. You know, it rains pretty good here, uh, and when it does, it can flood. You won't really have a problem with that with these beds. If we wanted to, we could put a cold frame around this, we could put a shade cloth around it. It's a lot of work up front with the soil, with putting in the, the sticks and fill, filling the raised beds up, building the raised beds, the cost of building the raised beds. It's a lot of work up front, but if we take care of these beds, these beds should outlast me. The next step is soil. You put your roll barrel right up against it in case you spill. This soil is very compact. It's very clay. It's just not healthy soil. In the meantime, while we are working on getting this soil healthy, we're gonna do some raised beds and bring in some soil. We can always choose to move them later if we want to, but this is, this is a great start. I feel that raised beds are easier to grow in compared to if we were to grow in the ground. One, the weeds. The weed pressure is a lot less because now your weed pressure is really just this box. Between the gorilla cart and the wheelbarrow, you're looking at five loads of compost here to fill up these raised beds. People, 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 people. And if my calculation is correct, that is about one yard of soil. In case you're counting, it takes 30 scoops with this shovel to fill up this wheelbarrow. So this was three wheelbarrows lo load of compost. The difference was we put larger logs in there. So that's the key. So we went from five yards of compost to three just because we loaded it up with bigger logs. So big logs like this, even bigger, the better, right? These came from uh, our down tree that we had. We've been cutting down a lot of trees lately, so we had a lot of these laying around. With everything going on between the renovations and moving the cows and we have all the chickens and the pigs, I didn't think we would get to building these raised beds and putting in a garden this year. What's up, Zeke? 
absolutely tired. You're always tired, Z. What's up? Get your more beds. After a few hours of shoveling all the dirt, we finally filled up all the beds. And now we're ready to plant. A fun way of using a trellis is using a cattle panel. We like using these for cucumbers, beans, and we've also used them for pumpkins. I'm zip tying this cattle panel close to this T-post here. So that way it'll stay in place. What I like about putting things in pots is like you get to lay it out first in a pot and then say like, no, that's not gonna go there and then move it around. So I've got all the lettuces right here right now and I'm, we're putting the peppers in this bed and we're gonna see if we like the way it looks. These pepper plants over here in the bigger pots, they started out in smaller trays like this, but we didn't have the we weren't ready yet for our garden. They weren't ready to go in the ground for two reasons. One, I didn't have the garden beds. And then two, the weather wasn't ready. Um, it was too cold to put them out. To save me time was to put everything into bigger pots. So I transferred them from a seed tray like this into a bigger pot just to buy me some time. And it worked great because everything's healthy and everything looks really good. I think it will probably do some kind of drip irrigation system here. Also, I guess you could consider this like a kitchen garden. I think eventually I'm gonna build a greenhouse of some sort, uh, definitely a high tunnel. I've always wanted a like a legit, like real high tunnel. Um, and also uh, some kind of glass greenhouse maybe to start seeds. Look at this one. We got a cucumber already ready to eat. Usually, I'll be the one to set up the garden, you know, if it needs to be tilled up or, or, or the rows need to be redone, we need to bring wood chips, whatever it may be. In this case, building raised beds, I'll get it to a certain point, put the soil on it, and then as far as planting and taking care of the garden, it's mostly Lorraine's baby. I mean, we all come in here and help and occasionally and do it uh, in harvest and stuff like that, but for the most part, she does the planting, she puts everything in, and uh, we're just here to help her. All right, I'm planting these peppers about 18 inches apart. Okay, so the logic to my layout is I wanna plant everything as close as I can to each other to kind of maximize um, our growing space. Grow vertically if we can, and then um, it's gonna grow tall, tall, and then short on the outside here. So that way the short things I can reach and harvest and the taller things I can reach here and harvest and then the tallest things will trellis over here and then we could harvest this way. So I'm planting these cucumbers 12 inches apart because they are trellised cucumbers. I kind of feel like this is the first, for me, major um, update to this property. Um, I know we got cows, we got pigs, and we're updating the house a little bit, but for me, this garden, I have anticipated this moment for so long, I almost I almost didn't think it was gonna happen because Jason's got a long list of things to do and to build, and so I'm so thankful for these garden beds. I mean, we have plenty of seeds. Plus, I still need to get the okra somewhere and to get actual plants in, in the beds already. It feels like it's happening right now, so this is like the beginning of a brand new season. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> 